Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid. We're playing as Scott Thomas, a mechanic who lives in Rosewood. And if you remember in the last episode, we kind of got out of there, uh, got away from our farm location on the outskirts of town, and I've kind of found this place on the outskirts of town, but it's a slightly bigger house, slightly more stocked, a few bits and pieces. It's out of the way enough that we can stay here and not get hassled too much by the zombies um, but we're close enough to town that we can go in then we know that there's houses up to the north of us up here but i think over here somewhere there's another house probably similar to this but i'm not too sure so i think i want to go and loot that because i haven't really got any food um my character i think yeah, we're putting on weight and we need to lose weight. So we really need to find some uh, stuff. Can we? Uh, we'll have to try and remove those bandages in a second because we're probably okay. Uh, I slept all night and he slept till about, it's just about almost midday. And I've just put a load of stuff away, emptied my inventory just so we can get out there and do some looting. And so, yeah, let's get to it. I think we're going to loot something and we've got a hammer and a saw so we can do some carpentry. It's raining, let's just remove the bandage and make sure that, yep, yeah, right, we haven't got anything there. We'll remove that bandage. And right, everything's healed, so it looks like we're probably not going to turn into a zombie. Uh, so that's good. We're hungry. I'm going to try and keep myself hungry. I think I checked everything, didn't I? Yeah, it's like can openers and stuff. So I think we're going to go out there. It's raining, but it's not, it's not thundering. And we got the key to this thing as well I'm assuming it's this thing yes it is okay so let's just get in it and we'll see oh wow look at that it's full of few my god okay well we'll take the key out that's perfect I was like full of fuel it looks really good let's just check the condition on this thing as well because it looks really good condition oh wow look at it it's practically showroom Oh, my neck. Okay, well, that's the look trait for you, I guess. So, yeah, we got a car, so if we need to get out of here, we got a car sorted. Just see what's in the back, just a regular tyre, that's fine. Right, let's follow this road back up here. I think it's split off, so I'm assuming over here somewhere, or over there, there'll be a, another house. Let's follow this dirt road down here and see if we can find another house. And if we can find another house, we need to loot that. And then, oh, look, then they've got a car as well. Pretty uh, good shape. We've got a zombie beating on a door, so let's go around and try and take care of him. Hello? Don't stop beating on the door, please, sir. Could you? No, okay. Somebody inside as well. Oh, great, yeah, I can't see anything. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> That's a good start. Come on this way please we'll just check make sure we're not surrounded someone else beating on the inside so that's fine though come on over you go there we go do him over uh, hoping one of these people might have a key or something to this car because it looks pretty pretty good but we'll go around and just make sure everything's fine it's still raining at least it's not thundering that's something oh just uh, yeah I think they're in the bathroom or somewhere let's just uh, try and sort this dude out excuse me nope and over you go as well there we go we'll just we should be stamping on the head really but we'll just cave him in it's quicker uh, no be there yeah, so we want to find this person. Oh, somebody uh, dead in there as well. Okay. Let's go to try front door again. Go around. I think it's just this person. They're locked in this room, aren't they? Yeah. Can I try some of the windows then, I guess? Ah, we're in. Perfect. Oh, let's walk along that, okay. We'll unlock this door. Will we unlock the door, please? Yeah, so we've got a way out. And then let's 
Oh, they're like bar. Oh, wow, they're like barricaded in there. <laughs> cool. Let's shut the doors just in case we get jumped on. Oh, wow, that's cool. Someone's been barricaded in there. <laughs> uh, I think we'll turn off lights where we can. For now at least, we'll just turn everything off. So they are, I think I'm just inclined to leave them in there. I wonder if they're got a pistol. Oh wow, nice. Okay. Oh, vitamins, yeah, there we go. I'm tempted to just leave them in there, I think, for now. Might try and open the the window outside, but uh let's take the sugar, we'll take the peanut butter. Nope. Come on. Come on, why don't you, uh... Thank you, there we go. Can opener, um... Can never have too many can openers, I guess. Corn dog, I don't really want that. Put it in the freezer, fair enough. Let's continue looting. Saucepan. We'll take all the dog food and cat food and all that sort of good stuff. Take the saucepan, we'll take that back for water, I think, because we're going to want to fill it up. The water and power will get shut off at some point. Uh, chip soda, we'll take the bleach as well. We can clean up the blood. Uh, oh, is that window broken? No, I don't know. There's glass though, but the window's not broken. So I think for now, we'll just leave them in there. If, they, if they, we hear a thud or something, then it's them breaking out, but. I don't think they're going to break out anytime soon. My only thing is, do they have a key? If they have a key, then I kind of want to get them out of there. Wash your dryer. Let's just check in here. Bleach. We could wash our clothes and dry them. That's uh, something we could do. Let's check the garage. Okay, we're okay at the moment. Nails. I'll take the nails. I'll take all of it, actually. Take the glue as well, and the wood glue, pipe wrench, yeah, all of that. Take another weapon, a blunt weapon, that's probably uh, better for us really, as we're a mechanic. Um, box of nails, definitely, pull cue, not really bothered about that, I'll leave that there. I think box of nails, my guy's hungry, but to be honest, I don't mind that too much, and we're trying to lose weight so we shall keep you oh god seriously I'm a dog now barking it's still uh, wailing on the door there pencil nothing good no nothing there a belt can we wear a belt yes we can I think we can put yeah we can put stuff in that belt I believe padded pants um I think for now I'm not too bothered. Uh, let's attach that to the bell. So yeah, we got a pipe wrench on our belt now. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, pistol. We will have a look at that. I don't know if there's any ammo or a mag or anything in it, but. Oh, hang on. Ah, they've broken the uh, they've broken the board out. Okay, let's deal with these two then. Let's deal with this person. Oh, oh that was close. Come on. Oh man, that's broken. Okay, did I take damage there? No, Oof, that was close. Right. So I think if I press two, yeah, I got the pipe wrench out. There we go, perfect. Cool. Yeah, that hand axe didn't last long. Ah, they had broken the window there. That's fine. Plunger. I don't think we're in plunger territory for a weapon just yet. Bath towel, no. Uh, have you got a key on you? For the car. 
No, you have absolutely nothing on you. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Okay, let's check this car out. Uh, oh, damn it, I keep doing that. Getting in the wrong seat. Uh, no key in the ignition. Painkillers, though, we'll have them. Put them in the bin bag. Let's check the seats, but I don't think there's anything. Okay, that's fine. Can we siphon gas? No, we can't. Fair enough. Let's just see what condition this thing's in. Oh, yeah. Well, there's some bits we might be able to take off it eventually, but for right now, I think our cars are... That's a really good find. Anything in there? Twine? Yeah, I'll take the twine. Let's just check around this uh, place, make sure... Uh, it looks clear. One thing I have learned is just you can never be too cautious in this game. Can we get the thing open? No. We might have to break the window. No, that's, uh... Ah, there we go. Perfect. We don't have to break a window. We'll close it as well. Can we close it? Yeah, I can. Plank. I mean, that's good. Wooden mallets, cigarettes. Okay, right, that's good. So we got a bit of food, not a lot. We'll, uh, I guess we'll eat the corn dog, but let's eat half of it. I want to keep myself somewhat, uh, somewhat hungry, just to try and lose some weight. There we go. This uh, music's a bit ominous. What's going on? But yeah, that's a really good find. I don't think I'm going to use it just yet. Let's just make sure we perimeter check. Yeah, there we go. There's somebody. Let's make sure we get rid of you. Come on. No, don't send me. Just saw some of the trees are moving. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Run, run. Yeah. That was close. Man, did we get. No, I thought we took some damage. Yeah, let's just clear this out. Try and let's cut a lot of sight lines. And hopefully, just don't get lost on the. Uh, around this way. Hopefully they'll get lost on the, uh, get stuck in a window or something. Yeah, we're slightly uh, tired. We are very thirsty, so we do need to take care of that. Oh, we've got to secure this place. We're not using another place. Oh, there we go. A bit of a waft. Come on all these bodies up as well and burn them at some point or, or bury them one of the two because uh, we will get uh, sick from the uh, bodies decaying as well so we have to take care of that there we go right there's one more at least I'm not sure where you got stuck but we'll come and find you here you are. Hello. Excuse me. Come on. Oh, damn it. I was just about to say, I think that's going to break. Crap. Okay. We are really hurting for weapons right now. Um, for the moment, it's clear. So let's get in. take this food we need to drink as well so let's go and drink first we need to put some drink yeah we need to put some uh, sheets up and that sort of thing as well 
let's open a can of tuna as well. Ah, there's a shovel. To be honest, that's not a bad weapon. Um, I think I will do that. Let's. I was going to sort out this inventory, put everything away. Ah, oh, crap, there's the water gone off. Damn it, the water's gone off. I was just going to try and fill some pots and pans and things, and the water's gone off. Damn, that's bad. Okay, that is really not good now. So we should get uh, one or two uses out of this, and then that's it. The water's gone. Yeah, we have no water. We will fill up a cooking pot with toilet water, because, hey, that's where we're at. And yeah, the water's gone, so we're really overloaded as well. Uh, the power's probably not going to be far behind then. So, yeah, I think the power's still on at the moment. Uh, we'll put the water in there. Saucepan with water, we'll put that in there as well. Saucepan with water, we'll put that in there. No, we'll just put it on the floor, we'll put it on the floor. Okay, put it in there. Thank you. Yeah, so water is going to be a real issue for us. We've run out of water. That's that's not good. Not good at all. So I think we're going to... Yeah, we'll, we'll use the hand axe. That's got plenty of... Uh, Stopping power, or oh, still plenty of. Uh, oh, we've got a couple of shovels as well. I wonder what the shovels are like. Yeah, we could use the shovels if we ditch the bin sack. Yeah, so we've lost water on like day five, I think. Is that day six, something like that? So that's really bad. Uh, we'll take the sort of construction stuff and put them in here. Got a can opener. Um, vitamins, bleach, we'll find somewhere else for those. So, let's fill up the cooking pot with toilet water, because <laughs> as you do. Um, yeah, that's uh, really unfortunate, that is. Um, I think we're going to put like the medicine and stuff in the medicine cabinet. magazine in a minute. Okay. Cooking pot with water. We've got a corn dog that's broken. Can we repair that? No, we can't. Can we repair that? Ah, we can repair that. That's good. Okay. So I'd largely just throw everything in this cardboard box for now, so I think I'm just going to do that. Put the hand axe in there, we'll put the uh, pot of water away. Because we are now going to be in serious trouble. Uh, we are exerted. I'd like to have hit up another house, but... I think we'll uh, pile up some of these. I'm going to pile up some of these bodies. Um, it's not really anywhere I can go. I'm going to sleep soon. So I will pile up some bodies. Right, we're back. I'm piled up the bodies. Uh, a couple of zombies just came in, but I am like really tired now, really exerted. So I just I can't really move or run or do much. So I have to go inside, ride out the rest of them. No, hang on. Before we do that, let's turn off all the outside lights as best as we can um, just uh, try and attract as few zombies as possible is that one on? yes it is they look like they're all on there's one around the back as well but uh, I think I left the door open so I do not want to leave the door open let me just shut that we have to wander around and then we're going to have to uh, go in and rest because we are absolutely exhausted 
Uh, I haven't found any sheets or anything, so... I'm probably... Yeah, there we go, they're turned off. Right, so here we are, and I basically tied up the bodies outside. Uh, got attacked by a couple of zombies, but took them out no problem. I am really, really, really exerted. <laughs> Uh, extreme exertion so I can't really run or do anything and um, oh hang on did I shut my door no I didn't that's a good point shut the door and yeah I'm gonna sleep because I'm tired and I think I know it's a really short one I'm sorry about that but uh, hopefully we don't sleep as long and we get a bit more of the day and we can loot some more of those houses um, but for now, I think I'm going to call this one here. If you like that one, give me a thumbs up. Comment with your thoughts down below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll catch you next time.